Why does this have to be so hard? So it's time for me to put away the muffins. So that wasn't too bad. An hour and a half of uh, sheer masochistic torture. But it's all worth it, I guess. Now I'm off down to uh, the marina. Check out some yachts. Get some inspiration and some motivation. Want to take a ride? I realize that not everybody has the motivation or even the desire to own a $20 million yacht or a $10 million house like you know some of those houses over there. But the same mindset would apply to just about anything that you want to do. And that is you actually have to do it. You got to be able to go beyond reading motivational quotes and looking at inspirational videos and actually do something. And trust me, I'm not preaching at you. For many years, I wrote articles and made videos and tried to inspire and motivate people to take action. And then I realized, unless they wanted to take action themselves, my videos meant nothing. None of the videos on YouTube mean anything until people decide they actually want to do something. That's what changed in me lately. So when I started watching videos by guys like Mr. Ben Brown, uh, Fun for Louie, and Casey Neistat, I realized that the old videos that I used to watch where people were trying to tell me how to do things weren't working. They weren't working at all. You know why? Because no matter how much I watched their videos or read their articles, I always seemed to question what exactly were they doing? How could I measure their success? How did I know if their success was real? And I realized my videos, I was pretty much doing the same thing too. I was trying to show people how they could do better in business. What really drove me was to begin taking the skills that I had and begin amplifying my own business endeavors. Then, by taking that action and people seeing me take that action, maybe that would get them activated. Maybe that would get them motivated to actually start doing something instead of just liking an article or sharing a video. It's all about doing something. This massive yacht right here is owned by Jackie and Joanne Collins. I think their name's Joanne. So you may not want to own a multi-million dollar yacht or a multi-million dollar house, but I think every single one of us that wants to exceed in business understands we need to actually do something. 